Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for uh, joining us for this third Dark Cloud game? Question mark? Not really. But it's done by the same developer. Yes, so level five. It's the same developer that what did uh, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2. Among other things, like... Right, so this is in a very, very similar style to Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2. But it's in space! Space! Let's go! Story, here we go. Starting with the story. The war that divides the galaxy has cast the dark its dark cast its dark shadow upon the distant desert planet Rosa. Highly valued for its natural resources, Rosa has been put under direct control of the Lo Long Guardian Federation in an attempt to prevent invasion by the Draxian Empire. I was worried that that was going to skip automatically. <laughs> under Long Guardia's watchful eye, the enslaved Ro Rosans now find themselves forbidden to leave the planet. Ooh, I guess that's where we're going to start. Oh, yes. Lovely bit of a uh, cutscene here. I think that's us. Skelly ca skeleton camel. It's actually remarkably nice Trapped looking. within this desert wasteland. The sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not going to end like this. I'm going to find my way out of here. It's voice acted. Okay. <laughs> I swear it. Let's just go. So you don't get my daft accents. <laughs> Right. Oh, it looks warm. You sure he's in this backwards bumpkin town? The information came from a credible source. He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Desert Claw? He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Love that accent. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rock. Don't worry, he's somewhere on this planet. My instincts are infallible. Like I'm gonna trust a robot's instincts. I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, all right? Really? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him. So you'd better come through on this. Fraggle, if you're, I know, if you're I listening. Know. The robot's called Steve. Steve lives! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm already very pleased. <laughs> Let's be having it. Tuckered out, huh? You did well, boy. Two medium-sized mish. Okay, pal, you met your quota. And here's your pay. Twenty small. Huh? Is that all? Brother, I am pinned here! No. I am pinned here! No. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rations. <laughs> I'm not doing this for my health, you know. So there's my sound alert, just covering up some of the dialogue, it's fine. Hi, how are you getting on, Fraggle? Welcome in.
The robots called Steve Braggle. This the is robots all that called I got Steve. Today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna let them get away with it? No, no. Don't get so worked up over it. It's been two years since Rose has been under Longardian rule. They're still struggling to get used to this place. We'll get our chance soon enough. <sighs> Man, why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? <sighs> it used to be such a peaceful <laughs> planet. The Longardians aren't all bad, though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. But the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. Oh, so much for what no beast in town. Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Jaster, wait. Don't worry, I'll behave. Ah, we're called Jaster. I'm good, cheers, thank you, Fraggle. Well, that is a... Dragonfly Armadillo? This is bad, it's heading for the residential area. Huh? Oh, okay. I guess, uh... I guess Damn. we're fighting. I'm surrounded. That motion blur is something fierce. Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. They just rode in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these chumps off first. Right. Oh, I have a gun? Oops. Okay. Alright, there you go. X is swing. Where is use the gun? Yeah, boy! Nice. Oh, the action gauge. Right, here we go. We're learning. We're learning. Always keep an eye on action gauge. The gauge is reduced whenever you attack or use an, abil uh, an, an ability or item. Once the gauge is depleted, you can't attack until it charges back up. Once your gauge is depleted, it is uh, ugh, is displayed. <laughs> it's displayed, and you can't you can no longer attack. Wait for the gauge to charge. All right, so it's basically a stamina meter. The empty action gauge will recharge immediately if you successfully guard. Right, my left. All right, there we go. Sword Slash, yes. Buy a gun, yes. Job, gotcha. Guard against tax. Triangle to open the menu. Gotcha. Don't forget your abilities nice. Hint! If you find yourself in trouble, go to the items. Heal potion, recover HP, gotcha. So standard RPG fare, really. Lovely! Right, car into the MOT. I hope it wasn't too expensive strong. for you, man. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. More importantly, the big fella went off toward the residential area. Yes, that we screamed beast is that. worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000? 20,000? 20, what are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. It's a hooded man. I don't know why the left and right controls seem weird to me. One after another. If things start to get hairy up ahead, use the transporter. Know your way around it. Just a pen. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so we can save. Okay, make sure to save frequently. We can teleport. Right, so. Use transporter to save. Oh god. I love the simulated memory card slots. So good. 
Is the game volume too high, by the way? Uh, um, I have a feeling it might be. I'm just going to drop that down to 80. There you go. That should be a little bit more manageable. Uh, 70, maybe. 60. There you go. That's probably better. Nice. So we are the hooded man. We have we have the hooded man with us. I really don't like these controls. Uh, configure. Oh, where's the system? There you go. Settings. Maybe I want to do th do it this way. Okay. So, yeah, that's better. Yep, yeah, that's the way. Music is a bit high, but the uh, don't lower the voices. Ah, okay. Settings. Sound. Oh, okay. We don't have any control. We don't have any control over the individual volumes, I don't think. Warning! Back to time. Here we go. Hang on, I didn't get that. Okay, so it's auto locking on. No big deal. Hello. Little uh, little chocobos. Gotcha. All right. So the battle system's a little bit more uh, in depth. Select button while traveling to display the map. Okay. So we're going, in, I think, this way. That door can be open. Up, the town's gonna be destroyed. Let's open this up. Thunderstone, lovely. Oh, there's a chest here. Lovely. Okay, I need a chest key. Oh, hello. Didn't know the ladder was going to clip onto. There's a chest there. Yes, we are looting people's houses. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently that's what we're doing whilst they're in this time of crisis. What the heck is going on? Oh, yeah. You'll have to have a death wish to step outside. I've never seen so many beasts. Can't open the wardrobe. You alright, mate? It's a fight time. During battle, you can adjust the camera's height by pressing select button. Gotcha. Oh, I actually prefer this, yep. Yeah. Okay, my gun's got a... Uh... Right, okay, jump and attack, this is fine. Gotcha. So I've, got a, I've got a gun gauge, and I have... A stamina meter. Gotcha. Select items in the revelation flow chart to, to learn new abilities. Oh, right. So you add items you pick up. Right, okay. Uh, revelation. Uh, flash sword. Add a thunderstone to it. There you go. I learned flash sword. Right. Flash sword level two. I need some sort of prawn and a box. But attack le uh, up level one. That's a heart and a stone with a sword in it. Burning strike. Okay, so you're not only upgrading 
weapons. You're upgrading characters as well. Nice. I'll take you on. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's the end of that. He actually hit me. Hot breath. Bloody hell. I got some hot breath. Chili oil in an inhaler, I guess. Oh, it's awfully noisy all of a sudden. It would appear a beast has invaded the town. What luck! The Desert Claw would never pass up a chance to score a load of points like this. Let's go check it out. Are you bonkers? It's way too dangerous! Come on, this way! Hey! Uh, wait for me! <laughs> right, there we go. Hello, Wangert. It's an emergency! A catastrophe! There's beasts all over town! That, that was the new Steve, yes. Steve 2D2. Something's wrong here. There's just too many beasts. Oh. I don't suppose I can go up there, can I? Unless, unless you actually can. You actually can. Wow, okay. You can swim in this game. Nice. Hey, you better have some sort of strategy. See your power. Heal potion. Oh. That's not a thing. Uh, same thing, yeah? We're operating a two save system. Just in case things get corrupted. You know. Alright, there's a couple of buildings we can go in there. Abilities. Oh, okay. Alright, abilities. Flash sword. Uh... So, here's my sword. Temporary. Temporary electric power. Extra scum save mode engaged. Oh yeah! <laughs> you know me, Fraggle, you know me. Right, are there any chests in here? Because, uh, you know, town's in danger. Gotta do some looting. I need a sun key. Sun key! On, up we go. Another chest here. Obtained divine healing. So divine. So divine. Okay, and there's another dude over here. Oh. Wait. Wait. Now we go our separate ways. What? What do you mean? I can't go with you anymore. Sorry. Just go into the residential area and take down that big brute. Sure. Hey, hold on a second. I can't take that thing out by myself. You don't think so? Here, try this. It's much better than that butter knife of yours. <laughs> it just stabbed me in the heart, like. Ah! PS4, yeah, I'm, I'm running it on the PS4, but it's a PS2 game, which I do own over there somewhere. On my shelf. Seven Star Sword, Desert Seeker. Whoa. Yes. And this. What's this? 
Battle recorder. A battle recorder. It'll capture the fight from start to finish. You ought to get a lot of points for bagging that fella. Go on. Take it with you. See you later. See ya. No, wait! How can you just leave me here? Quite easily, actually. <laughs> Giants! Giants. Damn it. Fine. You can't scare me. Bring it on. Fellas. We Here just we I think we just assumed some giant testicles uh, gender there. Yeah, recovery methods. So it's basically saying, yes, you're going to you're going to need healing here. Jump with circle and Right, okay, so enemies have weak, point, weak points. Ah, oh, shit, okay, that hurt. Ah, oh, shit, okay, I don't think I can uh, get out of here. Oh, there we go. Heal, I guess. Not, not abilities, uh, items, there you go. Heal potion. Use on whom? Jaster. Yes. Fighting. Lee. Okay. Fuck's sake! It's not the. It's not not the button I'm expecting it to be. Okay, it's a bit of heal. Holy fuck! Okay. Camera could do with like locking on a bit better, honestly. Fuck's sake. Late. Wrong button again. I will get used to the buttons. Oh, you fuck him up, mate. Shit, stop. Okay. Using the terrain to our advantage here. You fucking what, mate? Good. That has got such fucking hard, uh, hard range. Hard range? Long range. Okay. Well, this one's nearly down. You fucking cop. Oh, for fuck's sake! Jester was defeated. Game over. Alright. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good job we saved. So those are beyond us. Okay. Come on, you're running on a PS4. You should be a bit quicker than this. Continue. Da 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 Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's got a loading bar. Come on. Load faster. Holy shit, maybe I should have a death counter for this game. Oh, it's gonna... Yes, I'm aware. Right. 
gonna go through here again. On, let's hurry! Let's hurry! Yeah, I know, there's, a, there's an item up here that I want. Here's a second. Thank you. What the heck is going on? The heck is going on? Yeah, we've already seen this. Skip. Come on. Here we go. We use flash sword. Uh... Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I dodged that one. I'm aware, I'm, I'm already doing it. Fuck oh, off, really? It just did all of the all of the damage there. Right, one down. Big deal. Hey, there you go. Dealt with. Nice. Man. Hey, you're not half bad, kid. Huh? Oh, oh my. Could, could it be? Steve O, what's going on? <laughs> Just look! <laughs> Come on! What is it? <laughs> yes? There's no doubt about it. And see what he's got there? That's Desert Claw's weapon. Desert Seeker. One of the seven sacred galactic swords. Yes. So that means that... You must be... <gasps> Legendary Hunter! Desert Claw! The... the... the what? Oh, I can't believe how lucky we are! To think we found him this quickly! No kidding! <laughs> I told you he'd be on this planet, didn't I? Didn't I? See? Well now, aren't we the lucky ones? Mission accomplished! Let's head on back! Come on, come on, you too, mister! Whoa! Wait a second! What are you trying to do? Look, I've got to take care of that beast up there. You're in my way. Ah, uh, why bother? I mean, it's such a chore. Come to our ship, and we'll give you all kinds of sweet jobs that beat the pants off plain old beast hunting. Come on. Ah, uh, knock it off. I have to go now, or that thing is going to destroy the town. Let me go. That's our Desert Claw, a man of unbending determination. Ah, whatever you say. <laughs> we'll accompany you on your hunting trip, but when this little escapade's over, you're coming with us. Is that a deal? Hello! How's it going, Smirku? Huh? Why should I? Then it's settled. Let's be on our way. Simon and Steve have joined the group. Here we go. Simon the Scottish, Scottish Mole Man, Space Mole Man. <laughs> make sure you make, uh, make the most of each individual character's strength. Succeed in battle. Join the battle, you can change the player. Ooh, okay. Change his equipment. Right, it's an awful lot to just chuck at someone. But yes, we will do all of that things. Yes. Right, there is a door here. I think. There it is. Aha! We can go in here. Loot the houses. Loot them! Hello. I heard a subjugation force is heading for the residential district. Is that really a wise idea? These octopus have been ripping it up down there. When did this sound turn into a total death trap? 
This is an old game. Yes, yes it is. Not the oldest game we've ever played on this channel, but it is pretty old. I can't believe there Love me the PS2. It's, it's definitely my favorite console of all time. The PS2. Brilliant. Oh, hello. Here they come. Statue dog! Little statue dog. <laughs> Steve's just kicking the shit out of them. I just see missiles. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. There's another house we can just loot over here. Anything to loot? Show me your treasure. Hello, it's a shop. I'll take on it, beast. You better prepare yourself first. See your powder. Ah, so it's it's flashing them with a light bulb if you need them to learn stuff. I gotcha. Try charge is coming soon. Right, okay. Nice one, dude. Oh, hello. I saw that. It's uh, some treasure. Yeah, don't don't mind me if I just you know root through your stuff. Just root through all of your stuff in your shop and then just take some. It's fine. Let's save. We save. Yeah, this was your favorite game on. The, it was your favorite game on the PS2. Damn. Do you know what? I never completed it. I played it a little bit, but I never completed it. My favorite game on the PS2 was the original Dark Cloud. No, it's my favorite RPG for sure. I think my favorite game was probably Ace Combat: Distant Thunder. A silver bangle. The big one went over to the residential area. We cannot run away from this one. Oh, no damage, eh? Charge up. Ah, okay, so these guys have got shields. You need to charge up your attack. Break their shields. <laughs> oh, damn, okay. Oh, shit, Steve's down. Guys, get good, scrubs. <laughs> Wake up, drops, okay. Structure I to know uh, on how to fight for his strategy selection. Okay. Right, strategy. Let's have a look at that. Uh, ally, strategy. There you go. Um, am I playing on PC? No, I am playing this on the PlayStation 4 um, because it's easier. I do actually own it on my PS2. My PS2 is just above me up there. But, um, yeah. Team Command, fight separately. Pick on the same target. Yes. That sounds good to me. I wonder if I've got any more revelations. Icy Beam. I'm going to have that there. So we, I haven't got the other item, though. Ooh, you've got a bangle. Learn the thing. Yeah. Um, oh, there you go. The PlayStation Two controller is just underneath my monitor there. Because I do, I do. It's a bit dusty, but I, I do play. Um, I can capture games directly from the PS Two. It's very nice. There you go. Sweet. All right. Focus fire, guys. Focus fire. Have you got anything I can steal? It's a war after all. Those little boxes look very suspiciously like the ones where you lo looted stuff. What's all the shaking? It feels like the house is gonna fall apart! Alright. Heidi. Heidi hi. Ho de ho. Let's hurry, Mr. Desert Claw. Well, no, I'm not a desert I'm not Desert Claw. Come on. Yeah. Look at that. Who 
Look at that! Can we get over it? Or is this an invisible wall situation? Aha! There is a jumping puzzle to be had. Leave the small fly for later. Hey yo! Right, here we go. Big bad enemy is up ahead. Hello, Caculus. Oh, fuck me, that actually really hurt. Yeah, you're not fucking wrong, mate. Don't ignore suggestions from your allies. Okay. L1. That one had me sweating buckets. Well, there you go. So the allies are pretty useless, honestly. They keep falling over. But I'm sure they'll get better. Good grief! Even the troops are causing a panic. Save. Yes. <laughs> right, oh yes, I have coffee. I don't need to worry about it because it's, it's not going to go cold, uh, cold in here. I love this. <laughs> My, here's something funny. When I brought this home, my missus um, and, the, and the people I when I brought it out in work, people thought it was a flashlight. It's a coffee thermos. It's a coffee thermos, not a flashlight. Okay, here we go. The residential area. Big boss time. Oh, she's not a quiet fella, is he? Must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, <laughs> I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, hey, wait Also, up, we're not denying that we're the Claw yet. We hardly knew him. There it is. Okay, a mark. That is certainly a big monster, all right. A mark seven salamander. Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. Whoa, this thing is huge. Watch you don't get crushed. Right, no damage. Abilities. Let's get our flash sword on the go. Flash, flash. Ouchies. Okay, so that's doing no damage. Okay. Max heal, uh, L1, yes, do that thing. Damn it! Wrong button. Abilities. No. Items, there you go. Use on me. Use on Steve. Keep them alive. I'm gonna have to go around the side and see if I can, uh... Fuck me. We're getting wrecked up here. Not sure what to do here. to hit it, but I just don't know. Legs, go for the legs. You're not wrong. Aha! Yes! 
Oh, okay. Heal. Got him. Hang on. His foot arm was off. Yes. I get it now. That's a Mark 8 Salamander. You could have fucking told me. If we can manage to break the shackles on its legs, then the shield on its back will open up. Let's hurry up and break the other shackles. Okay. Let's do that. Just destroy its foot armor. I will. Let's just uh, get everyone healed up. Let's see if we can get around the back. Oh shit, that's not the right button at all. What? Yes, heal up. Another one. Oh, shit. Okay, shield on the back. Fuck you, Dill. Scottish armadillo is so weird. And it is a JRPG. It is. Hey, look at that. That's gonna be his weak spot. Try you think the giant pulsating there. heart what? on his back? How am I, I think you might be that? right. Jump on its back and hack away! Isn't it obvious? Exceedingly. There's no way! Hang on! I've got just the thing for this kind of situation. What's that? I'll tell you later. Watch this! Ah! What the? That's my monography shot! Monography well, shot! Like Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. <laughs> Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. But remember, you must equip the monography shot first before you can use it. Now's your chance. Go get him, Mr. Claw. Okay. Okay, come on. Items. First of all, heal. Then change equipment. Sub weapon. Monography shot, yes. Oh come on, get off. Oh you fucking shit. Come on, get off. There you go. Oh you fucking cunt! Well, that's annoying. Oh, fuck off! Okay, come on. We can do this. There you go. <laughs> Did that do it? Did it no. do it? I'm afraid not. But you're almost there. Is the battle recorder ready? That kind of beast will net you heaps of points. Make sure you get it all on tape. What? You mean this? Oh, now that is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast. And later on, you can turn it in for points. Now, okay. finish off the beast by yourself. After all, it's your prize. All right. And here goes. Its heart has stopped. But it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, okay. Come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. I mean, I'm not a legendary hunter yet, but I you get know. the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. Is he really as Bru Bruce? As Brucey says, points make prizes. Can be deceiving. A real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Bollocks. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, heal tank this, I think. <laughs> I 
Oh shit, okay. Well that's uh that's a lot of damage. As they say. Yeah, how about you uh don't breathe fire on me, thank you very much. Alright. Yeah, boy! Yeah, I wasn't anywhere near that diamond. It was just like me standing there. Hey! Ha ha! You did it! That's our desert claw! You're the real deal! Yes. I am the real deal. Just as I thought, his potential may be greater than my own. Oh look, it's the real Desert Claw. Dun 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 dun! So listen, Mr. Claw, you got a real name or something? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Oh, it doesn't let us change our name because Jaster. it's got dialogue. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just going to call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? You're Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. Yes. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to hire me, exactly? Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa. A pirate among pirates. Yarr. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean, you guys do space travel? Yes. Of course. We're big-time pirates. We travel all over the galaxy. Yes. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me. Up in space. Yes. yes. I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Sure. Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You were made for the pirate life. <laughs> to find our ship, you need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta! Yes. Oh. I agree. He is a mix between the Iron Man books from Ronald Dahl and Freddy Krueger, 100%. And how do you drink a potion of resurrection when you're dead? Well, you don't. But your allies do, because they keep dying, and I think we're going to need that. All right, look for next episode markers in order to advance the story. Lovely. Right, I think we need to have a... Setting on your adventure, rent a Yagol from the Yagol merchant in Western Gate and exit to the desert and onto your travels. Don't know when you want to meet before you go. Now it's time to do it. 
blah 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 blah. So I won't be able to come back to Salgin for a while. So we need to find the sun and the moon keys, I believe. Okay, so that's the way out. Right. Hello, who are you? Carver oh, Raoul is a mysterious man. I heard he wasn't originally from around here. No, he's not. He wasn't. Alright, hello. Rodrigo. Hmm, that's not very good. That's no good. Only the Mark 8 Salamander doing a Rosa. Sounds like... Sounds to me like the Draxel military is involved. Empty. I doubt it, I would turn out, but at least nobody died. Oh, old oh, dude. Pirates. Are they really? You sure know how to ride. Just watching you makes me feel all young and tingly inside. Alright. That seems a bit weird. Did you see the beast? It was huge. There's a building we can explore in here. The shop. Ah, yeah. What you got to sell? Lucky the beast didn't stomp on us. No shop, no business, you know. Come on in. What can I get you? What have you got? An iron cube. He has three of those. I would like one of them, please, because I need it. I need it for a thing. Gonna go on a tripper. Sounds good. I'd love to get out of here myself. If only it weren't so darn hot here. Don't know why both of those merchant twins sound exactly... It was outside the western gates, right? Yes, I, I I know it was, but just give us a sec. We're, we're going here first. First, uh, what's that sign say? In commemoration of the destruction of the Scorching Alchemist. Thank you, Jaster. There we go. Apparently, we've done some good stuff here, but before. Oh, a weapon shop, lovely. Camel armor. Oh my God. What is this? Oblivion? Horse armor. Don't look at much variety. Please feel free to have a look around. Have a bite. So that's my sword. He's got a quip. He's, he can have a flamethrower, or a cold spray, or a missile pod. Nice. Well, hey. However strong the weapon, if you don't have a gift, hurls before the swine. Okay. Right, where are we going? That's what I want to know. I'm trying to find Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? Recharge shrink, lovely. Trying to get as much items as we can. As many items as I can. Should probably say, if I was speaking correctly. Is that a television? Holy shit it is. That's a very old television. Yeah, yeah. That's what televisions used to look like in the nineties. <laughs> I can go to space. Early two thousand actually. Oh hello. Oh yeah. Is that all you got? Well, there weren't supposed to be um, enemies on the uh, in town. That's the end of that. I'm just the end of that. Mellow banana. Oh, mellow banana. It was 
was outside the western gates, right? I know. Just give me a minute. I'm exploring the town. Only it was a sprint button. No, <laughs> there's no sprint button. I am just pressing everything to see. Nope. And there's a spaceport. Let's keep our plaza clean. Any chests around? No. No! Damn it! I still want there to be a spread button. <laughs> You can just wander in, that's fine. Iron board. Iron board. Iron the chairman of the board. I love the mile long. A an escalator that actually works, I like it. Uh huh. Let's teleport. Uh, let's go near the church. So we can talk to Bloke. Outside the western gates, right? Yes. And where's the church at? Um, let's say it's, uh. Damn. I chose wrong. Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? I think this is the church? Yes, it is. I saved the town. Sounds like things have calmed down out there. Yeah. But it was a bit more tough than usual. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. But listen, Raul. What is it? Uh, never mind. Alan. What's going on, Jester? I'm getting off the planet. <laughs> Raul. I'm really grateful. You found me abandoned on the church steps and raised me to be who I am today. What's all this about? Are you okay? Did you hit your head? Well, I'm heading out. All right. Okay. Yeah, I might not be back ever. Also, there's a chest there. Hmm. There's a chest there. Sorry, I need to go back in. I see a chest. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. <laughs> I'm heading out. Taking this with me. I wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not Desert Claw. Probably. There's a chest there. Didn't see that before. Cumulus pendant. Cumulus pendant. Uh, there was another way up here that I didn't go before. It was going the correct way. I wonder if there's any more loot around here. There Looks like there's door. no damage here. Aha! Loot! Don't open this without a star key. 
Let's open this one though. Heal potions. Let's go through here. We can't. It's a dead end. So we need a, a sun, a star, and a moon key. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oops, yeah, my weapon no longer does any damage. That's the end of that. And that's the end of that chapter. Man, future armor. Fucking great show. It was outside the western gates. It was right? outside the western gates. Yes it was. And we're just gonna we're just gonna teleport to it now. I think we've explored everywhere. Use the teleporter! Teleport. Near the residential area gate. Ah. Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? He's just going to keep repeating these lines, isn't he? Until we, uh... We eventually... Accept the... I wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not... Oh no! I'll take you A gold on. child! Fucking hell. Those gold children fucking hurt. Keep fighting, come on. I guess we got a little bit too far away from them. This is what you get. This is what you get, bitch. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Noise. That's how you get it done. I'm assuming there's gonna be some combos or something going on at some point. Authorized personal only. I'm authorized, let me in. I got authorization from my mom. Fine, let me in. Fire one! Right, we're across the desert. Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? You you keep saying Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? As if we don't already know. Let's get a fucking camel. Here's your thing. Here's your money. Jester. Uh, Raul, what are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? I did say something. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. Me? Stop you? <laughs> I... I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raul. What do you say? <sighs> Don't get in trouble. I'm sorry, Raul. Thank you so much for raising me. And taking care of me. Well... I'm off. Wait. You're walking the wrong way. I always knew this day would come. 
Do you remember when you were just a boy? <laughs> We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. Oh, we got a flashback. We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I roll? Huh? Can I? Huh? Of course you can, Jaster. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. Self-assured, straightforward eyes. I don't think I could stop you if I tried. There we go. Go, Jaster. But I want you to remember something. You're the only family I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. Raul. Come back and visit I'll your bastard. I'll be waiting here for your return. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Ah! Oh, pulling at the heartstrings. Raul. Someday, I'm going to save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here, hoping and praying for your success. Take care of yourself, Jester. All right, we're going to be a pirate, and then we're going to save some slaves, apparently. And there we go. That's the plan. <laughs> and then out to the desert we go. That is a. Uh, that's an so actual that's pirate ship. Go a ship, huh? And so comes the end of one long day. Come dawn, I'll be leaving this planet. Something up there is waiting for me. I can feel it. And that's why I'm going into space. I'm lip syncing badly. <laughs> oh man. Oh, here we go. Anime intro. It's almost morning. Chester! Over here, big man! Hey! Whoa! Uh, what gives? Uh, uh, uh. What the? <laughs> Sandworm! Oh shit. What is this, June? Nom 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 nom. Well, there's a big bugger, isn't he? Oh dear! We gotta get out of here, Jaster! Hurry up and get on! <sighs> Damn it! 
Oh, dang. <laughs> we'll pop a nice tombstone for ya! Son of a... Huh. I'm not about to... Check out now! I mean... Uh, 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 what the hell is that thing? Uh, that was fake, you mean. There's three of the fuckers. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, damn! Got a jet bike now. now. Holy shit! Nice cinematic open in this game. <laughs> Over here. Who the fuck are you? If she's the pirate dog and doer, then there's something wrong. <laughs> okay, well, we've stolen his sword. Rogue Galaxy. Here we go. The game has begun. We're off to space. Trophy earned. <laughs> Woo! I love the way the spaceship is ba basically made out of wood. Now that's what I call a close shave. Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself. We didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later, I swear. Yeah, it yeah. It doesn't matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there. You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time. That's desert claw for you. Listen, though. Don't you be getting any ideas, big man. To tell you the truth, she's... Weird. <laughs> so this is the guy. The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> hey, Bolthead, set this kid straight. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big job on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can you? Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, nice to meet you, Desert Claw. <laughs> hey, so you're Desert Claw? Oh, hmm. here we go. <laughs> Wait, you're... The one and only, first mate, Muncha. Uh... <laughs> Is the captain still napping? Oh, he can be such a pain. Oh! The Desert Claw has a shrewd look about him. 
that's what the captain would have said. I'm sure of it. When the captain's not around, I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh, okay. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, you're an official crew member on the Dorganok. All right. Now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, nothing can stop us. The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking. Mwahaha. <sighs> Well, shit. Hey, Raul, where's that ship going? I'm not sure. Maybe to some planet somewhere. Really? Some planet somewhere. What do they have on other planets? Well, Stuff. All sorts of things. Like what? What kind of things do you mean? I've never been myself, so I don't really know. I've got plenty of oh, Raul, weird shit. You're no fun. <laughs> Sorry about that. I happen to like this planet. As long as I can live here, I'll be satisfied. Really? Then I want to go into space. I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like. I think there. he's lying, by the way. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it'll be super cool. And when I come back, I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> He's definitely been in space. Hmm. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. So, what do we do now? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Now we head for Zerard! Zerard? Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. Most civilized planet. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye aye! Your instructions will follow. Now I've got some lunch to eat, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow. <laughs> you can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? Isn't it? Right, so... Steve's at the helm. Simon's his name. Caraco. Who's Caraco? Hello. I'm Caraco. Nice to meet you. It was a close call out there, but you can thank Chris. Get, get Chris Chrisala later. Chrisala. Let's see if we can find any precious things. Use the transporter. Little save all game. Sweet jazz. Sweet, sweet jazz. Jazz, jazz, jazz. Yeah. Ooh. Finally. I'm up in space. Okay, can't go out that door. Hello, Davis. Oh, you'll see nice and off on nine seconds. Watch out for that, mate. Um. Exploring the ship doesn't seem like an option, guys. So the captain's ah, map. there we go. Use elevator. We. Hello. Can I use the piano? No. Hello. Heard about you, didn't it, clear? That's not how we spoke at all. But if Bernie Town Hunters, we might as well buddy up, eh? Sure, why not? Buddy! I forgot to thank that girl. 
we need to find where she is so that we can thank her. Properly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Shut tight for now. People on this ship must be from all sorts of planets. Wow. That is 100% a tale of Monkey Island Pirate. <laughs> Arr! Why was a famous hunter doing out in the stitch like that? Thanks to that, I have a hell of a time getting ready for much. Oh my god, he is so serious. Look at him. I want whatever he's having. So you're the desert claw, right? You look a lot younger than I've imagined. Oh well, this goes to show you can't believe everything you hear, right? I want beer. Give me beer. Let me on stage. I have things that I want to say. Okay, we're going back up. We. Right, see, have another go at this door. See if it'll let us, it'll let us through. Should tight for now. All right. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. Since I need to quickly go to the toilet, I'm going to quickly do that, and then we'll be right back with more of this as we go onto the first planet. Da -da -da -da! So be happy. Don't go anywhere. Ah, just stub me toe. Ow.